Well, Tori, I am yes. excited that we're ready for our next Yay. Bible study. It's going to be on the topic of prayer, prayer and probably a topic that everyone out there would say, wow, I need to grow in that. Us included. And us included. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. But I wanted us to just do an intro, mm -hmm. uh, just an orientation a little bit to what's going on and to highlight again that Mark is doing the yeah. kickoff on January 30th. And he is going to be discussing for us, I hope, obviously he's free to talk about anything he wants to, <laughs> but discussing for us the heart of prayer. Because I think as we all consider prayer, mm -hmm. we just really want to have the heart mm -hmm. that God would have us have behind yeah. prayer. So sure. I'm really hopeful that that's going to come through mm -hmm. clearly and encourage us, but admonish us. And right. I know it will. He always does. But yeah. Um, the studies are all going to be posted on the app, Yay. and so people can go there and figure it out. You want to speak to that a little bit? Yeah, there are community group that are hosting some Bible studies. So if you know your community group's having one, then jump in with them. If it doesn't work for you to do, do that one, there are independent Bible studies uh, that you can join. Um, and then there are quite a few different ones as well, and then I'm doing one. And it's I would like for different. Tori to speak a little bit to her study because it is unique and I think mm -hmm. it is really, a, it's an incredible opportunity for women who don't understand how yours is distinct. Yeah, so just in case ladies are lost about how to study the Bible or in their lives feel overwhelmed with time and like I don't have time to do five days a week of study, uh, Wednesday nights from 6 to 8, I'm meeting uh, at church, and we go through the study together. So you don't have to do any prep at home. We just come together, go through it. So if you have questions, don't understand something, someone there can answer it. And then uh, we will spend a good half hour praying together each week as well. So. And that is such an opportunity because if you've really never been able to take a passage of the Bible and study mm -hmm. it and, and look at, ask yourself questions, to yeah. have somebody guide you through that is such a, that's, I'm, I'm just really yeah. grateful to you, Tori, Tori yeah. for your willingness to, sure. to do that. And I wish I could come. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> yes. there's always more to learn. Always Absolutely. more to learn. Absolutely. Yes. So. Um, the question that some people were asking uh, is maybe, why are we doing a topical study this time? We've spent the last two or three years deep diving into how to study a book of the Bible and getting good at that. So why did we abandon that for a topical study? So to well, you. we would like to think that we're not abandoning that mm -hmm. for a topical study, yeah. but it is a challenge because we are typically, when we start studying topically, we start mm -hmm. grabbing verses out and trying to mm -hmm. apply them, which is something we've really worked hard Work to, not to do. Not to do because mm -hmm. it's, we've reiterated over and over again how context is king. Mm -hmm. So we're endeavoring to take some passages of scripture each week. Some weeks you'll just have one passage of scripture. Mm -hmm. Some weeks you may have two or three passages. And we still want to do the discipline of looking at that passage in context, but drawing yeah. out some specific applications to prayer yeah. and how we can grow and how it can challenge us. So we're hoping that we're actually going to be learning another way to study the Bible where we're studying topically, but we're not just studying topically. Mm -hmm. We're studying inductively by looking at a topic uh, of passages. Scripture. So hopefully yeah. it'll be one more layer of mm -hmm. how to study the scriptures. Yeah. We'll be doing a little bit of detailed work on some smaller passages instead of a lot of detailed work on an entire mm -hmm. book. Uh, but also the focus is prayer and how we can apply that. How do we learn how to pray through mm -hmm. that process and, and then practicing praying also. Mm -hmm. We don't just want it to be a knowledge in we want it to be a practice application. And that can be a little bit intimidating too, mm -hmm. when you think, oh, we're gonna spend a lot of time praying. Mm -hmm. I don't pray out loud, I don't. Right. And one of my desires and hopes through this study is that we will really grow in understanding what prayer is, that it is truly mm -hmm. just fellowshipping mm -hmm. with my God mm -hmm. and my Savior who I love so much and depending on the Spirit of God to help me yeah communicate to right. him because it really is about relationship and so hopefully yeah. through this time we're going to be able to really grow in 
that idea of relationship in prayer. Mm -hmm. And the neat thing about doing a study and praying with other people is that it develops a deeper relationship between you um, and the people you're praying mm -hmm. with as you pray, as I listen to you pray, and we, I come alongside with you in prayer, it deepens m my thoughts and also deepens our relationship between mm -hmm. each other. Absolutely, absolutely. So there are many, many things we are really prayerful that the Lord yeah. is gonna teach us through this time. Absolutely. And we're excited. So yeah. sign up for one, up. whether or not it's independent study, it's with one other person, it's in yeah. a group or whatever, just be involved because we know you will be blessed and challenged.